Holy shit. Are you waiting for cyberpunk bartending action in Valhalla? Because I am. Alright, so I bought this game on Steam. You know, it's all over the place. And I just tried it out. And it's something... It's like the coziest fucking game ever. So I'm just going to play like 15 minutes of it or so. And then, you know, just there you go. So fucking new game. Thank you for playing VA11 or Valhalla thing. This is, this is a game best play comfortable. Get some drinks and snacks and enjoy. So sit back, relax, and we hope you have a good time. Alright, just so you know, this is a really cunt, like a text heavy game. Psst. Hey, over here. Boom. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look on the brighter side of things. That is actually really good advice. Life is 90% of how you take it. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check out that parcel you just got. See ya. I still have no idea who the fuck that was. Jill, this is fucking exclamation point. Oh, yeah, just a dream. Hmm, there's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. I am ready to figure out what Primera means. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure you have 800 bucks or you're going to be like fucking not allowed to do that. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Cool. Alright, so on the left side here, you're going to see your phone. And then you go over here and you hold it. And you unlock it. And then you, you save the game by doing stuff like save. See, I'm on day two on my other one. So we're going to ignore that. Alright, cool. Four. The only thing I can think of is the fucking four is your cat right here. The one that I'm scratching his little head. And then Jill says nobody. And I'm like, okay. So you do all these things like, hey, look, augmented eye. Mass immigration. And then you got all these things you can read about the world around you. It's really cool. It's really complex. And I really dig it. I'm not going to read those stories because that is a ton of reading. But you know you see little things on the side there. Alright, so let's go to work. Tuesday, December 13th. Evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Gillian. Oh, okay. When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? I don't know, she went out to buy some stuff and did you hear what I just told you? You can see he's perplexed because he's got a teardrop on his fucking eye here. Or not his eye, his forehead. He said something. Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Ah. There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. What? Hey! She's in the background there. I never noticed that before. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, but I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And they're all over the beer cans, my Bart bin, and all this crazy shit is going on. Jill! Gillian does not give one fucking shit about your problems. You are here to work. Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar and the recipe book that will show up on the top left. 
You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from the cells on the right to the shaker on the center. Gil. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the surf button or the drink to, you know, fucking do the thing. Oh, if the drink is fucked up, then hit the reset button because you're fucking stupid and need to do the things right. Get on the one that went, to, yeah, okay, so basically, everything he just told you, you're gonna fucking do right here. Alright, let's do a sugar rush so you get the idea here. So we're gonna look through the fucking thing here. We're gonna you know, go to S, we're gonna do the sugar and the rush is two aldehyde or whatever. That's two. And one powder delta. With optional carmatrine, which I'm like, fuck yeah. Carmatrine is basically the alcohol. And this, I don't know what the fuck these two, uh, rest of these do, but you know. Sweet, light, and fruity. Alright. Go on, see? I made a sugar rush. Serve that bad boy. Here, yeah, happy now. I just fucking. I just, Jesus. I've done this before. Why am I getting the achievement now? I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over 5 seconds. You can tell it's being blended by the way it is. You also need to check if the drink should also be served on the rocks or aged. Check the ice and age buttons, these things right here. Okay, so basically blended is when you like click mix and then all of a sudden goes way faster. And that's blended. Alright, a moon blast. Ah, uh, M. Cool, okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And yeah, I do that out loud and, you know, just playing with my normal self. Wait, that was this terrible thing. Okay. And then let's see, all on the rocks I'm blended. And then all of a sudden it's gonna go fucking crazy. Watch. Boom! Right there! That's fucking blended. You can tell because of the way it is. Great. Boom blast. And then you serve it. And then usually you get paid right here. Hey, did I amuse you for long enough? And you're like, fuck yeah, dude. I'm sorry, don't, don't, you know, fucking do your thing. Oh yeah, before I forget. Huh. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of the ingredients. But the recipe is already at over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatine, means it can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmatine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatine is the alcoholic factor in the drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. I don't want the exposition. Now I am. Yeah. Hey, guys, it's fucking Dana. Oh, uh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, there's a woman behind him. Or her. I think it's her. I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. That's gonna be a fucking mistake, probably. He's gonna make a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you two to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do. Fuck. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. Dude, that is the greatest fucking line ever spoken by a boss. Believe in me, who believes in you, who believes in us. Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be too growing about or taunting us if that were the case. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be sleeping just soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yeah, I'll start working while you clean the bathroom. Hum, come again. Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joker like that? Well, so as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that long, my lonesome, I'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that, fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. 
With that on my way, let's start to play some music on the new jukebox. Fuck yeah, this music's amazing. Alright, so I have to do 12 slots, I don't understand. Alright, I'm gonna fucking... Hold on, wait a minute, you gotta listen to it. Yeah, nothing says that in like fucking 80s like this. I just have one thing, I just wonder why it takes so long to start like... Loading the preview. Cause I'm on an SSD, it's not that like it's loading. Unless, unless it's super compressed for some reason. I wanna find one that's good. Let me just click all of these here. So then all of a sudden you get find all your stuff. And then you're good. Yeah, this is good. Alright, so then we're just the fucking garmenting dream. Out of the city and out of orbit, that's cool. Alright, time to mix drinks and kick ass and I'm all out of asks and, you know. Hey, get me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. He wants a beer, looks like quite the big dude, though. Alright, so we go to B, we get a beer, and that's one. And two bronze and extract, one powder delta, two flanagrins, and then the four. There we go. I don't know which fucking beer is that strong, but, you know, there we go. Well, maybe Hurricane Bastard. Hurricane Bastard's a pretty strong ale. And it tastes like fucking shit! I don't care what you say, it's fucking garbage. Now I'm gonna take a drink of my fucking water. Delicious. Now that isn't gonna cut it, give me a big one. I'm sure. Are you fucking serious, dude? Alright, fucking. Let's, there we go. Actually, the first time I played this, I fucked up. And, um. One, this, there we go. Do that to Flanagorins. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck! Okay, hold on! Just wait a minute! One, two. I fucked that up somehow. Oh, you know what? That was not optional. See, I'm still fucking new at this. One, two. It's a little more. That's eight. That's good. Fuck it! Are you serious? Why is this fucking doing this? Hold on! Alright, I have no idea. Just take another beer. I said, fuck, dude! J Jesus. I said, a big one, Brad. Big, like my dick. Forget these two. Just, there we go. See? Christ, you're lucky it was a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, the work is taking me the worst hellholes. Like New Jersey 3. There's three? Holy shit, dude. What happened to the other two? What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Donson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye, the fucking newspaper. Nothing gets published here without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice underscore Rabbit, then. Hey, people love that shit. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of a wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money. And money brings nice stuff. Kind of like Kotaku's motto. Is bring in the clicks. Stuff like cars, houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the actor. Just that you write about them every single fucking day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice underscore Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this target while it's, well, topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that shit. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add which city's lovely citizens to the list. 
By the way, the, when as soon as we get to like Glitch City, that is right there. That is super cyberpunk. We have entered that era. So just keep an eye out, okay? Or new something. Like new or Neo. Neo too. That'll be it. Alright, you're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get to send senses. People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Has that fucking happened? That is a fucking serious story right there. That's not enough. You need to get a full sub story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about and you can make up any shit you want. I'm gonna have to agree with him. It brings up a really good point. Like everyone gets desensitized so every time you turn on the news it's just fucking... It's like the most gruesome shit ever. Like, people are getting their heads cut off, or fucking shot, or murdered. Like, for fuck's sake, can't I just turn on, like, CNN and be like, Hey, dude, look, fucking puppies. Look, these puppies saved this kitten. And I'm like, shit, that's the greatest. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Ah, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic, too? Oh, and I hate those brats. They just write about how everything they do is better than everyone else. They might also write about everyone and how they... Wait, hold on. That likes a certain something should be sodomized. Holy shit, it's fucking Tumblr. The worst part of that is that they know half of our clicks come from so... They get... Holy shit, I am dunked tight like a motherfucker. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them so they get all diva like on my ass. Why was that so fucking hard for me to read? I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. Burn. The kid on the restaurant critique column, ah. Uh, shit, I forgot the Brett's name. Restaurant, I believe that's... That kid, couldn't care less about his name. Anyways, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Dude, that fucking sucks. Oh, shit, dude. If you're like... Oh. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty sure my fucking YouTube channel gets less hits than the fucking obituaries. Holy fuck, he just had a revelation. However, he still insists I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. They look like a fat child with a really small, with really small face. No, wasn't this one then? Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try give me another beer this time, please. Coming right up. All right, so that's Valhalla, a cyberpunk bartending edition action mixing drink game. Anyways, if you enjoy it, buy it. It's like fifteen dollars. Like holy shit, dude! It's fucking great. You just you get some, like, I don't know, you get some water, or you get a soda, and then you get a little, you know, it's it's summertime now, but in the in the winter, you get like a little fucking blanket, and you huddle up to your monitor, and sit in the glow, and just read. It's a lot of fun. Alright guys, until next time, I'll see you then. Adios.